Hi again, this is Kelly and welcome. So right now I'm going to go through my lipsticks. So let me see. Okay. Oh, where to start? Okay. Um, these five are from a company called YBF, Your Best Friend. And I'm having a hard time contacting the company. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on, or maybe it's just the beginning of the year and holidays or whatever. But uh, until I'm really paranoid about ingredients right now, so until I get the ingredient list or, or talk to them, I am going to oops, set these aside. Um, Mac, same thing. I have this is a Mac and Plumful. This is the Glamour. Glam. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? See, I just want to swatch this all over the place, and that's just not smart until I know for sure. Okay, this is Glam, Viva Glam 4, Viva Glam 6. This is Plumful. This, these two are Russian Red and MAC Red. going fast. Okay, let's see. These are, this is Ulta. These are all Ulta. Okay, this one is 241. That's nice. I'll keep this. This is Cappuccino. Oh, I don't know if I like that. I don't know. I don't know. This is raisin. Well, that's pretty. This brown one, though. I just don't... No, I'm not going to wear that, so... Okay. Let me see. This is from e.l.f. Moisturizing Lipstick. And what's the color? Southern Belle. This is natural lipstick, 100% vegan. This is this is Pacifica, um, and they are a gluten-free brand, and they're vegan, cruelty-free, the Leaping Bunny. I know some of you are interested in that sort of thing. And see, this this came in a sample box. These sample boxes are really picking up their game. I get Birchbox, Ipsy, and Julep. Hmm. Huh. Do you see that okay? It smells kind of It's not sweet. 
It's kind of like pepperminty. Like medicine-y peppermint. Oh, the color is moody red. So, I'm going to hang on to that. Okay. These are Laura Geller. I accidentally uh, <laughs> bought two of these, uh, but they're the same color as this. Oops, not this. Where did it go? It's, um, this is some pink tuxedo. This is Rosato, R-O-A-S-T-O. And I was positive. I know I had Another one. Okay. I have makeup scattered all over. Okay. Now this, look at this color. Is this gorgeous or what? Look at that. It's so pretty. So pretty. Uh, so this is the, the same color and I'm definitely keeping both of these. And uh, I'm going to have to, I was afraid that it was a limited edition color. And uh, so after I realized that I had them, I, because I like it so much that, so, you know, that's okay. This is also by Laura Geller. And this is Pink Tuxedo. And I was wearing this yesterday. And I'm not really sure about it. I don't know whether that has orange in it or maybe I was just being blind today or because it looked funny on my face. Huh. Then again, it just could have been me. All right, but okay, so I'll keep that. Gosh, I, I thought I had a lot more. Okay. This is Hikari. And I got this in a sample box. Like I said, those sample boxes are really kicking butt um, in the last several months. So, I have a couple of products from this company. And uh, I looked at the ingredients, and it looked like they were gluten-free. But I sent them an email asking them for a list of what was gluten-free and what wasn't and um, about the first of the year and it's the 18th today so I'm just gonna wait and see on that but I really I'd love to wear this see how pretty that is how many times can I say pretty in one video but it's the truth it's gorgeous These, I have a swatch for you. These are Lancome, the color design. And I wrote to them, and they do not use, ooh. This is, um, I'm sorry. This is Lancome in Lucky Kiss. You see, it looks a lot more nude in the tube than it does on a hand. It's just so nice. It's creamy, and I've only swatched a couple of these this all, so I, I haven't worn them, but I'm really, really excited. Um, this is... Oh, I guess they're on the top. Okay, so Lucky Kiss is a matte, which... And this one is front page, which is a cream. Look at that packaging. Isn't that cute? There's a little flower right here. 
I love this. Ew. Huh. Goes on a little bit. A little patchy. Can you see that? I have to try that out, but. It is weird. See that? Huh. Maybe oh, I could use it as a stain or something. I guess I'll have to play with it, and I'm not sure about the color. So, that's interesting. And, do I have a... Look like somebody uh, <laughs> cut me open. Okay, this one is red oat. It's a matte. I love this packaging. Oh. This reminds me of the, just the way the look of it. I, I shouldn't say this because it's Lanco, but just, it just reminded me this color when it came out. You remember when we were um, little kids? You get that play uh, makeup. I don't know. I don't know about that. I guess I should have been testing them out. I'm going to have to work on these and get back to you. Okay, this is Hope Nude, which is also a cream. to tell you I am not that that one looks nice nice and creamy and stuff it went on well I'm gonna have to play with these and then see what I think after that should have brought some wait tell us I'm sorry 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 all right so well, I guess I don't have many left do I Now these, I'm keeping because I love them and it's Chanel and, okay, these are both uh, Rouge Coco, number 36, maybe that's the type, Moon Rouge, I'm not sure, but it's number 36 and they don't have it anymore, I don't think. But I love it. And it's Chanel, and look at how beautiful that is. It's just gorgeous. I just, I just have to make sure it's still good. I love this. I love the packaging. I love everything Chanel. I just, I really do. I think that every woman should have a Chanel lipstick at least once in her life. No? Oh, and this is Dragon. Good. Red, red, red. This smells good too. So, I don't know where I would wear that. This one? But maybe I will. There's something about this lipstick, this one here. It just makes me feel so good. It just makes me feel really powerful, you know? You guys ever get like that? Find something that makes you feel really strong and powerful. This is Tarte. And it is in Plummy Rose. It's just 
just like butter. These are so great. I like that color. I'm not sure if it looks very good on me or not. You guys will tell me, I'm sure, if I wear it. This is Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Buttercream. I guess this is, uh, this is, what is the date on this? This is Must Have Pink is the color. It's Marvelous Moxie Buttercream by Bare Minerals. And it's a gloss, which I obviously haven't tried. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty, isn't it? Okay. So I'm going to keep that too. And I'll put it with my glosses. And this, oh, this was a treat. I bought this a while ago. This is Besame. And this is in the color American Beauty. And this is just so gorgeous. You guys should really check them out. You can get it at Sephora. They make their lipsticks, all of their products, at, well at least their lipsticks themselves, at least they did a few months ago. It smells really nice. The packaging is adorable. Anyway, um, love them. Love them, love them, love them. And that just leaves us with Bite Beauty. Okay, let's wrap this up. I'm so excited. I'm, I feel like I'm uh, at the end of a tunnel. Does that make sense? Just this whole process of um, going through everything and examining each thing. Do I love it? Do I hate it? It's really hard for me to get rid of expensive things or lip products are hard. What am I talking about? Eyeshadow is hard. Eyeliners, blush, everything, <laughs> everything is hard. Okay, so this, okay, so this is a gloss. Um, this is Bite Beauty. They're gluten-free. I like them. This was just a little, um, a little try me size sample, sort of a free gift kind of thing from Sephora. You know, sometimes you can choose one of those things. And this uh, says Bite. It's a mirror, so that's really cool. And so I'm going to keep that. And I think that's it. Is that it? Okay, so this, what do we decide about this? I don't, I don't think so. I just, no. So I'm keeping these, at least for the moment, but I'm just not sure. I'm not sure about these Lancome ones. Um, so, let's see what's left here. That's not so much after all, is it? Okay. And those I'm waiting to hear back from. So, well, that makes me feel good. Yes. I'm probably going to pass on a couple of those or give them to my mom. All right. So, that's it. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.